where this heat is already forcing central Kentuckians to make some changes when it comes to outside activities. Our Danielle Miskell joins us live from Bryan Station High School with what Fayette County schools are implementing. Danielle? Hi Marvin and Andrea. Yeah, so right now I am looking at my Fox 56 weather app and right now it's telling me that it's 92 degrees out here and you know usually this football field is pretty active but after school football practice has been canceled and it's been postponed to go to 6 in the morning to prevent these student athletes from overheating. Schools are back in full swing and this week's heat wave joins them. Football, soccer, golf, cross country, and even band practice schedules are looking different this week. They are not to, to do anything until after 7.30 p.m. That's when we are getting guidance that it'll be cooler and safer for them to be outdoors. We are suggesting that they do as much indoor activity. So if they can bring recess indoors uh, and keep it fun and cool for the children. The district has sent out an advisory to all its schools and it's letting the principals make their own judgments about how to keep students safe from the heat. At Bryan Station, those changes are underway. We are playing varsity only because we will need to start after 7.30 p.m. Uh, we don't want kids, JV and freshmen or whatever the case may be, playing multiple games at night and not getting home until midnight and then having school the very next day. So we are reducing the amount of games that are being played. Bryan Station is also breaking out extra resources. It could be the purchase of fans, portable AC units, uh, just making sure that our classrooms, uh, we're adjusting some master schedule classes. Uh, to move into cooler rooms if necessary. The Kentucky High School Athletic Association's index says in 95 degree weather like today, water must always be ready. 10 minute breaks every 30 minutes are required and towels with ice and cooling tubs need to be on standby. But if those temperatures climb to be over 104 degrees, all sports will be canceled. And high school sports aren't the only ones being impacted by this heat wave this week. I also spoke with the president of the Richmond Little League, and Phyllis Abbott told me that they're going to just have to make game day decisions every day this week, whether or not those kids can play ball or not. And they're also going to be deferring to the city commissioner and their own heat index to make that call. Live in Lexington, I'm Danielle Miskell, Fox 56 News.